Hello guys, this is Heroic Flamingo and welcome to part 38 of my Guild Wars 2 personal story walkthrough. In this video we're going to be doing the uh, personal story mission Breaking the Bone Ship, which is part of uh, chapter 7 of the main personal story. So we are in Mount Maelstrom still, uh, carrying on from the last mission which was just up here. So you just walk in sort of uh, down the road, uh, you've got to go past a mountain across some water, come around here and then you'll find the, uh, the next mission right here. Our objective is to join Tun and the Maya Sea uh, at the Maya Sea to sink the bone ship. So we need to meet Tun at the Maya Sea staging area. Okay, so let's get going. So we stole some uh, munitions from the inquest in the last mission. So now we're going to use those to help destroy some bone ships, part of the undead army. Ready when you are, Tun. After all we went through to get this, I can't wait to see it explode. Then you're in for a treat. We have an unobstructed view of the target from here. Now we simply need to plant the bomb, get clear, and flip the switch. Not that simple means easy. Floating mines surround the ship, the waters are thick with undead sharks, and... we're in crate territory. These packed soldiers are here to help protect the detonator, but you and I still have to do all the heavy lifting. Or, to be accurate, the heavy swimming. Let's hit the water. The sooner we're done splashing around, the sooner we see that bone ship go boom. Alright, gotta make the bone ship go boom. Sounds awesome. I assume we're talking about this bone ship over here. Target acquired. Right, so reach the bone ship. So, I think pretty much... Let's get swimming. Can't use our skimmer mount, unfortunately. That would make things a lot easier. Is matey boy coming with us? I assume. Oh, he's down there. He's going for the underwater route. I like the scenery up here. It's raining as well. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like a mine. There's mines. There's risen shark. I'm just like swimming along here as if nothing's going on. And there's like... Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Oh Christ. Don't do a lot of underwater combat, so I'm not too familiar with all of the uh, skills and everything. They're dead. Oh. It's a tricky one. Alright, okay. So, continue towards the bone ship. Oh, Christ, I'm still in a... <laughs> still in Death Shroud. What do I look a bit weird? Alright. Clear out the undead so Tun can set the charges. Alright, so I assume... Oh. Yay, more underwater combat. Oh, my God. Okay. Those are dead. So that objective's done apparently, so oh my god, it's my uh, flesh golem. My flesh golem is a shark underwater. Alright, regroup with ton at the detonator. Alright, okay, right, I'm going back to the surface where the mines didn't seem to affect me. A bit better. Alright, so that's gonna explode. Yeah, I got my awesome shark with me. So we've got to get all the way back to the detonator, and then obviously we'll push that plunger and hopefully the bone ship will explode. Although that seems a bit too easy, doesn't it? Maybe there's more or more bone ships or something like that, because <laughs> I know the personal story is not too difficult, but yeah, that would be a bit too easy, I think. Alright, let's give us a go. Hold on to your ears, everyone. This is going to be my masterpiece. Wait, something's wrong. The detonator is showing red. The connections were perfect. Something must be knocked out of position. Sir, we have crate inbound. Closing fast. And they look like they mean business. All right, I'll reset the charges on the ship. You keep the crate off the detonator. I don't like leaving you unprotected. Between the crate and the sharks... 
I can handle the cartilaginous cretins that are still out there. And the crate are focused on this position. They won't even notice me. That ship has to go down. I'll signal when the bomb is ready and I'm clear. When the detonator goes green, throw the switch and enjoy the show. As I suspected, a little bit more complicated. At least we don't have to swim back over there, for the love of God. So he's going to go and do that. We've just got to fight off the crate while he sorts out the detonator. Don't know why he couldn't get it right the first time. Right, where are these crates? Defend the detonator as Ton... Oh my god. Feels so good to be back on land again. I don't dislike un being underwater. You know, it's quite nice uh, and it looks cool and everything. It's cool that it's there. I just, I think I'm just so used to like all my skills and stuff like that on land that I don't want to have to learn all those underwater skills because it doesn't come up that often. Like, you know I mean, if they used it more. So maybe, you know, I would I would go through and learn all of the my build underwater and stuff, but to be honest, by the time you learn it, you would have forgotten and it'll come up again. So to be honest, it's not that frequent. So you can normally get by just on a bit of button bashing underwater uh, as and when you've uh, it comes up. Alright. Alright, I'll come from this way. I find these bits sometimes a bit slow when you've got to wait for the enemies to come. I don't know whether it's just they're giving you enough time to kill the enemy, so I would have thought just once you killed him, it'll trigger the next wave, but sometimes you're standing around for a minute. Nice. Blood in the water. Extra little extra little reward. Right, oh, detonate the charges. Ready to go. Swim out there and see if we can spot him. Ah, for the love of God, don't let me swim again. Alright, locate Ton. Do we have to? I mean, he served his purpose, didn't he? He's I a dead. Oh, something. okay. By the gods. It's Ton! He's dead. I was sure he signaled us. Was the explosion bigger than he expected? We have to report this. You head back to shore. I'll bring in Tom. Okay, so that's breaking the bone ship completed. It's Unfortunately, it looks like Tom died in the explosion. Don't know whether that's our fault or not. I feel a little bit bad about that, but it is what it is. Uh, anyway, so that's the end of this one, so I'll be back soon with the next part. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to be kept up to date, and I'll see you later.